It's Friday and we love to end the week on a good note. One Taney County man has reached a milestone birthday. In his honor, College of the Ozarks Patriotic Studies is finding a way to tell his life story. Natalie Nunn reports. Every season of life is considered a chapter. Well, living to 100, you would have quite the story. In Park Piper, well, he does. We are here at C of O, where they are working hard to put his story into a memoir. I had a good life, I guess. Yeah. Living one century, Park has That's seen a awesome. lot of life. It, it sort of just go along with the flow, I guess. So yeah. much life, it caught the attention of C of O's Marcy Linsom. Park Piper is a national treasure. Shortly wow. after Pearl Harbor, Park signed up for the Marines, joining a brother in the Navy and a half brother in the Army. It represented the Corps, all of the aviation Corps. He traveled the world, fighting in some of the biggest battles of World War II, keeping a journal of it all. When I heard that Park had a journal of his time during his military service, especially in and around Pearl, Pearl Harbor during World War II, I was like, oh my goodness, what what a unique thing to be able to see. Who's this right here? No, that's my brother. Many years later, Park was in the middle of one battle he didn't plan on, but it was part of history in a different way, COVID. The night of Park's 100th birthday on February 1st, he was admitted to the hospital. But I met an awful lot of people, wonderful people there in the hospital. He spent a month at the Cox Medical Center in Branson, regaining his strength, and now he is back home, living on his own with the help of his loving family. He managed to survive World War II and COVID. I mean, come on. We're told that they hope to have Park's memoir done by the end of the semester so that they can use it to teach future generations about the greatest generation. In Point Lookout, I'm Natalie Nunn, Ozarks First.